Well, how's it going this morning? Thought we'd play with the homebrew TRF a little bit. Kind of gathered up a few things. A few things have transpired while you've been away. Went through and did a few checks and let's see here. What did I find? Um, one audio transformer is burned out. How lovely. That is not uncommon in these sets. I don't think it's burned out. I think they just are I think they just corrode and break. I've seen a lot of those sets that the audio transformers, there's at least two in most sets. A lot of them, they just they're dead. I don't know why. It's a kind of an easy fix. There's a couple ways to go about fixing it. You could buy a new transformer today's modern transformers that are about that um, impedance are very small and you can usually hide them on the inside or underneath the set. It's not a big deal. Um, I found some, that, that's, if you remember that set, it had a number of little quarter inch audio jacks, which I'll show you in here in a minute. Anyway, I cleaned them. And yeah, they're about that. Yeah. I just uh, folded up some notebook paper and ran it through the contacts with a little bit of electrical cleaner on it. Um, I hustled some tubes. These are all, uh, actually they're all Cunningham. They're 30 earth. Huh. It's funny, this one was tested and it says something. Actually, it says Stores Western Auto Supply, which I believe is Western Auto, or was. I don't know. So these are all uh, 301As. These should work just fine. I got a little bit of sandpaper, some very fine sandpaper to kind of clean the contacts up on these a tiny bit. These these old tubes don't, um, they don't pinch the contacts, they just push on the bottom and it's not a very good idea. Set it off the side. One of the other things I hustled for us is a little power pack. This, this actually came out of a radio I just got the other day. It's somebody's home brewed little huge ball. It uh, has about five volts and some change, and then it's got about, I don't know, 70 or 80 volts. And then you can move this tap around for the uh, detector voltage. I think I've got it set at about 24 volts right there. It's, it's sketchy at best, but it does work. What they've done is they've taken two, this is, you want to sit down for a minute and I'll show you how this works. Um, 110 or mains voltage, 120 actually, comes in here. It's fused, but amazingly enough, and there's a big glob of tape wrapped here. I took it off because I'm, I'm, I'm more dangerous than tape. Um, it turns into a 6 volt transformer, which goes two places. It goes into this bridge rectifier, and then the 6 volt AC goes over to this transformer. So the 6 volts gets rectified, a little filter cap action, and buried um, in here is a LM317 uh, voltage re programmable voltage regulator. So before the voltage regulator, there's actually about 9 volts without a load. So that's for the filaments. That's what this is. So the AC goes on to this, uh, which is a backwards 12 volt power supply transformer. So they hit the secondary with 6 volts, which makes about 60 volts on the secondary, which comes around and hits this voltage doubler, which is all this crap. So that pumps it up to about, about 80 volts. And then there's a, a, a ladder of Zener diodes here. These are like 20 volt, 22 volt Zener diodes, and these are some low voltage ones. So you can move this tap around, and here's the current limiting resistor. It's not pretty, but it does work. So, what we 
give that a try this morning. I've also got a speaker. Uh, if you're going to dink around with old TRF sets, you're going to need a high impedance speaker. What the hell? Apparently, the cat's been in the missus' cough drops. Cats love cough drops, apparently. Okay. Well, so. I'm going to make a few assumptions, and this isn't going to be pretty. To back up a bit. Okay. I think what I'm going to do first is work on the RF section. I don't know, I can work on any section. This probably will work just fine. I've taken a couple of these sockets up and looked underneath, and they're just, they're basically just big steel sockets that are all bolted together. Actually, these are kind of nice. You can take them completely apart. And clean them. So I cleaned all the contacts up. And I think what we're going to do first is we're going to hook up the uh, what they call the A battery, which is probably was originally a six. Oh, really? Damn it. Okay, a little modification was in order. nice little eyes which I'm going to have to clip. Let's see, that's ground. Okay, so on the set um, it's got A minus and A plus and B minus and B plus and B plus. So I'm going to have to do a little tinkering around here. I've kind of drawn out the schematic of this thing. Basically this thing is the same pretty much um, basic building block over and over and over again. So there's really not anything too different. The only thing that's even remotely different is the detector stage. We'll pause here for a little station break after these messages. <laughs> 